Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Neurotic Mom Bakes. Today I'm going to show you how I stack my cake and put a filling inside. So we're gonna start with my basic white cake layers. I'm doing four today. And I have my strawberry compote filling. And I'm gonna show you how I can fill this cake without it smushing all over and how I put my, my dowels or my straws in to keep it stabilized. So I've got my bottom layer here and I'm gonna start by spreading a thin layer of, I was not supposed to do that color, thin layer of my buttercream along the bottom. And then I'm gonna make like a wall with, I put some buttercream in a piping bag and I'm gonna make a wall around the outside. And then inside of that, I'm going to put this strawberry filling. This is my favorite flavor combination. I love this strawberry compote which I have in one of my other YouTube videos. If you wanna check it out, I love it with my white cake recipe. Okay, now I'm gonna put my next layer on. I always get eye level with my cake. This side looks a little lower, this side looks a little higher, so I'm gonna just try to even it out. There we go. Don't press down too hard, or this filling is gonna smush out the sides. We don't want that to happen. So just very gently, we're gonna put another layer of icing. It's a thin layer, just to keep the, um, the compote from soaking into the cake. We wanna put that down. Hi. And then I'm gonna make my wall again. You're gonna be in some of it. And again, scoop the strawberry filling inside. Should I make this three layers or four layers tall? I can't decide. Okay, fill that up. Let's, let's be daring, let's do four. Next layer on gently. Okay. Thin layer of buttercream. Wall of buttercream around the outside. Fill with strawberry compote. I feel like it's leaning a little. It's okay, I'll show you how to fix that. If it starts to lean, don't panic. Just get eye level, fix it. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, when I put the top layer on, I turn it upside down because that's my nice flat edge. It'll give me a clean edge. Okay, at this point, I don't wanna do anything else to it. I wanna get it in the freezer as soon as possible to let that filling solidify. Because if I try to frost, or even if I try to put my dowels in, it's gonna just go out everywhere. So what I will do though, just so, see these little little bits of frosting, just scrape them off a little bit because those will freeze and then it's hard to get your crumb coat down. So just kind of scrape, get the excess off. This goes in the freezer, oh, I would say for a good 15 minutes at least just to get it stable. Dun, dun, dun. And then I'll adjust in here because it starts to slide, it's super scary. Okay, all right, here we go. 
All right, so I have pulled my cake out of the freezer. I filled it with my strawberry filling and I stuck it in the freezer for about 15 minutes just to let it set. You, if you try to decorate it after you put the filling in, it's gonna slide everywhere. So it's, it's pretty set. And at this stage, I'm going to add some straw supports. I like these milkshake straws because they're just sturdy and thick and they're really easy to cut to size. Um, so I'm gonna start, this one I think needs four. So I'm just gonna push it down as far as it'll go, then lift it up a little bit, cut it off, and then push it down. And then repeat with the others. All the way down, lift it up, cut, press it down into the cake. Oh, is my time lapse going? Sorry. There we go, thank you. Okay, so I've got my straw supports in. It's gonna be pretty stable and I'm ready for my crumb coat. Now, I picked this particular cake recipe on purpose to show you that you don't need to panic when there are crumbs everywhere, okay? You can fix this, you can get it smooth. This is why the first coat is called a crumb coat, okay? And I will show you how, how I get this kind of messy cake uh, looking totally, perfectly smooth. So, uh, my color today is blue because I'm actually gonna turn this into a little blue ballerina. Um, remember, before every time you use your buttercream, you wanna give it a good stir just to get out all the air bubbles. And I'm just gonna start by spreading this along the top. Pushing it down over the sides. And then gently starting from the top down. Works best for me. Again, it's much easier to frost a cold cake than a warm or room temperature cake. The crumbs, they are there, and there's a lot of them in my frosting, that's okay. And you'll even see parts of the filling are coming out a little bit. Again, totally okay. Okay, when I get to this point, it's not, I'm not quite down to the bottom yet, that's okay. I'm gonna get one of my scrapers. And you see this six inch cardboard I have at the bottom of my cake. I'm gonna place the bottom of that on top of that cardboard, because I wanna get as close to the cake as possible. And I'm just going to Pull all the way around. I like to reach over, I like to do it in one pass. It makes for a smoother buttercream. So I did the bottom, now I'm gonna come up to the top and go all the way around. Then, because I don't like to waste, I didn't finish the bottom yet, but I have a lot of buttercream here. I will pull it off the scraper and finish with my crumb coat. And there's also crumbs in here, so you don't want to put it back in the bowl. But it's okay to continue on with the crumb coat since there's already lots of crumbs in this. We're on the bottom and then I'll fill in any, you know, major spots that need to be filled. Okay, perfect. I'll get a new scraper. I get a new scraper for every single pass. That's why I like to have a lot of them and that's why I buy the cheap ones. Go along the bottom. Turn it over to the clean side. 
Go along the top. Perfect. And then I will get my offset spatula, get eye level and just pull it in to flatten the top out. Wiping it off in between every single scrape. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is not our outer coat. You're just wanting to seal the crumbs in. That's why it's called a crumb coat. Right here, we can see a messy. You do want it smooth though, smooth as you can get. If you see big crumbs right here, I'll just go ahead and pull those out. And then patch it up. And then one more scrape to smooth it out. Okay, this is going to go back in my freezer for 10 minutes before I do my outer coat.